My name is Dwight Mengel. I'm the Chief Transportation Planner of Tompkins County Department of Social Services. We received a Federal Transit Ad Administration Integrated Mobility Innovation Grant Award of $820,000. We were very happy to, to receive that. We have launched the development of a mobility as a service project. It's geared towards small urban and rural communities. We were very fortunate um, in our community of Ithaca, New York to have many mobility services, um, many shared use services. Um, we have the largest and oldest car share, nonprofit car share program in, in the state. And shared use services enables a lot of creative thinking. And one of the creative Im impulses for what would become our Mobility as a Service project was what if there was a way where people could have a monthly mobility budget? But first, what we needed to do was to integrate a, our customer services, because our customer services are being delivered by the individual providers. And that needs to be integrated. So our um, MOS phase one project is devoted to customer service. And then phase two deals with money and transactions as opposed to flipping the order or just dealing with the money and transactions and not having customer service. We have four goals. One is um, to create a, and organize a multimodal customer service center. And we've done a lot of planning to go and do that. We, um, I must say that we really did not kick off our project until July 2021. The pandemic really uh, impacted our community and our, uh, our operators. And I will just say this, when you're working with um, nonprofits and small organizations, you find key people are doing multiple tasks. And so until July, we were really um, focused on the pandemic, recovering from the pandemic, and applying for all of the federal money that was sent out to support us for that, that effort. So we have been, um, since that time, now we're wrapping up the program planning uh, and development work, and we, w we are looking to start our pilot on October 1st. Well, we, we have partnered with a community um, transportation needs assessment project. Uh, and that's focused on equity, inclusion, um, looking to uh, reach not only uh, urban communities, but also rural. And you have, to, you have to come up with different strategies for doing that. I will just run down extremely quick what, like who's partnering with us, okay? Um, Public transit, uh, the demand re response services, uh, Ithaca car share, 
our 211 two information and re referral, um, volunteer driver programs, and um, Cornell University, Tompkins County, City of Ithaca, and also the um, out-of-county commuter bus services that bring people to work in, in our uh, county. Um, our transit system has a on-demand uh, rural pilots that they've been working on. They first started as a first mile, last mile, then the pandemic hit, um, and they had to recover and um, test out different pilots. Um, they had a an app that is used to dispatch riders to serve customers. Customers can use to reserve, but customers can also call. For our um, customer service project, it includes all of the information and uh, to provide assistance for people to deal with any of the transportation challenges that they have that we can work with. Um, we have also added into that mix our intercity bus services, since many people are looking to get access to and from the inner city bus. And um, frankly, we have about three times the number of people using inner city bus than using the airport. So we should be having some support. Um, so that's one thing is this multimodal customer service center. The next thing is the world's like simplest mobility app, okay? Um, it will enable people to contact um, online or by phone the customer service center like with just pushing one button. And it would also enable users to arrange on their phone all of the contact information, both online or by phone, for any of the providers they want to aggregate um, as like their family of services that they, they use. And the third thing we have is really innovative, um, which is we're, we will have a, um, a guaranteed ride program that basically will assist people when they have trip failures. So it's not just to and from work or anything else. If you're on your bike and you're in the middle of nowhere and you have a flat tire and you're not prepared and you can join instantly, by the way, it's very low cost, um, you can call up and somebody's gonna come out and help you. If, if you are at a doctor's office and your ride does not come to get you, you can, the doctor's office can call up, us up or uh, you can call up and you will be helped. So it is function, the purpose is to replicate or mimic the marketing process that AAA has for roadside assistance. And frankly, when you look at AAA and their, their, their marketing, they lead off with marketing roadside assistance and everything else they have is secondary. The first thing is roadside assistance. Can you have help when you need help? We're doing that for all other modes of travel. Some C has provided technical assistance for us. And in fact, I have a very short list of one of the reasons why I'm at the meeting today is to talk with some C about some things that, we're, that we need some help with. So we appreciate the commitment and open-mindedness of some C and we thank the FTA for making all this possible.